Feels like there's an ocean between me and you. I see I gotta cross to reach my destination. But if what they say about the journey is true, I'm away to you, we can get an education. It feels like there's an ocean between me and you. A sea I gotta cross to reach my destination. But if what they say about the journey is true, I'm away to you, we can get an education. That's right, dive in, there's a lot to explore. From the top of the water down to the sea floor. Anglers, urchins, sharks, and fish schools, many critters you won't find inside a tide pool, so let me guide you. Fish facts I will provide you, provided that I don't get distracted or lied to by the internet, or false facts are prevalent. Lesson one is don't click on links you suspect could be malware. That's the wrong kind of fishing, the kind where identity theft is their mission. Where was I? Oh right, speaking of scum, lesson two, the base of where the food chain comes from. Out here, algae is the simplest dish. Lesson three, not everything that swims is a fish. We got invertebrates like lobster and big mammals like the whale, the giant thing that swallowed Jonah in the biblical tale. Man, that must have been a trip. I'm sure he was upset being trapped inside a belly where it's cold and dark and wet, which makes me think, who would win in a fighting spree? Every Jonah on the earth versus every whale under the sea. Let me wonder. First thing we need to know, uh, are there more whales than people named Jonah? And if there's more Jonas by a substantial gap, what if we factor weight in? Do the whales take it back? This is pressing on my mind. The question's kind of neato. I need 30 minutes with the browser put in incognito. Okay, I'm back. And I got data on my side, man. There's 50,000 Jonas along for this ride. And as for the whales, we got things to consider. The first is what species of whale are in the ringer? Well, I'm sure all whales are bros. Only one made Jonah pissed, and the others say, Miss me with that drama, keep your distance. And since the tail hails a gargantuan whale, I'm assuming the big blue boys are who's in tail. You can disagree, others are respectable. For now, let's get some stats for this hypothetical row. How many? 8,000 spread across the sea. Swimming to one place could take a couple of weeks, which gives the Jonas time to get preparing to take on their 300,000 pound adversaries. That's right, 150 tons of fat and muscle. Not easy to beat if it's a melee tussle. It doesn't look close if they fight hand to fin. Just squishing the humans leads to an easy win. But what if all the Jonas have inventions on their side? They pair up into boats, one on guns and one can drive. 25k boats on the sea with a vendetta to settle. The whales roar while the Jonas put the pedal to the metal. Harpoons whiz overhead. Some whales are dead, but they don't die fast. Dying throws with boats on blast with giant tails. Smashing through holes and sails. When you're covered in water, how do you aim a rail gun? And while boats outnumber whales three to one, finding them underwater is easier said than done. But then the ocean, it settles. Their anxiety doubles. They follow some bubbles, guns gripped with white knuckles. Too late they realize as wide and afraid that whales trap their prey in the very same way. And as bubbles converge, there's a swell and a surge. As the trail leads the boats to emerge as a herd. An explosion of mass, Jonah's gasp and they gape as the sky is blocked out by gargantuan shapes. You can't phone a friend, Jonah. There's no one around to hear you scream out as you all start to drown. You try to flee in a panic. Radio cuts to static. That's lesson four. In a fight, the whales have it.